So in this problem, we're given a function and a region in the xy plane, and we want to find the average value of the function over that region. So let me start by drawing that region. It's below the line y equals 3 and above the graph of y equals x squared. Why? Okay, so I have y equals 3, and I have y equals x squared. So I'm looking at this shaded region. And for average value, the first thing I want to do is find the area of my region. So here I'm going to integrate with respect to x, right? And I'm going to have the integral of 3 minus x squared, top function minus bottom function. But now I need to find my x limits. So I know y equals x squared, and the line y equals 3 intersects the parabola when y equals 3. So x equals plus and minus the square root of 3. So let me set up that integral to find the area. Right, so top function minus bottom function. This is a nice change from all the multivariable integrations. Um, so I'm integrating with respect to x. Integral of 3 is going to be 3x. And integral of negative x squared is going to be negative 1 third x to the third. And then I'm evaluating that from negative root 3 to positive root 3. So let me plug in root 3 first. So 3 root 3, and then root 3 to the third is going to be 3 square roots of 3, right? So these two will combine to be 3, and then I'm left with 1 square root. Since I'm multiplying that by one third, I'm just going to have root three. The three and the one third will cancel out. So that's my first one. Now I want to plug in negative root three. I'm going to subtract this. So negative root three times three, negative three root three. And then the same thing for x cubed, but this time since it's a negative, I have to worry about the sign. So I have negative times a negative makes a positive times a negative and another negative, so I'm going to be adding, which is kind of confusing. But it's the same thing as before. Root, negative root 3 cubed is negative 3 root 3. And then you have the 1 third, so 3's cancel out. So let me go ahead and add these together. So I've got 4 root 3 as my area. Let me write this over here. And let's get ready to find that average value. So for average value, I take the integral of the function over the region and divide by the region's area. So now I need to set up my bounds of integration. I already have my x bounds, and I'm going to go ahead and integrate with respect to x last, since the y bounds are going to have a function of x in them. Let me move this up a little bit. So for y, I'm going to integrate from x squared to 3. And then my function is just y dy dx. So if I integrate y with respect to y, I'm going to get 1 half y squared. And I'm evaluating from y equals 3 to y equals x squared. Other way, x squared to 3. Kind of confusing. Okay. I'm going to go and pull this one half out so I don't have to deal with it until later. So that makes this outside fraction 1 over 8 root 3. 
instead of 1 over 4 root 3. But it'll work out the same way. So let's go ahead and plug in. First, we're going to plug in 3. 3 squared is 9. And we're going to subtract x squared squared, or x to the fourth. So now I have to integrate with respect to x. So 9 is a constant. The integral of 9 with respect to x is going to be 9x. And x to the fourth becomes 1 fifth x to the fifth. And I'm going to evaluate from x equals negative root 3 to root 3. So let me move up here. So let's plug in root 3 first. 9x becomes 9 square roots of 3. And negative 1 fifth x to the fifth becomes negative 9 fifths root 3, right? If I had x to the fourth, then when I plugged in root 3, I would get 9. Then I have that extra root 3 hanging out. Okay. Now let's plug in negative root 3. So negative 9 square roots of 3. And then for negative root 3 to the fifth, I end up with 6 negative signs counting this subtraction, so I'm going to be adding. It's going to be plus 9 over 5 root 3. Okay, so let's add together. So I have... So these add to be 18 square roots of 3. And these end up being minus 18 fifths square root of 3. So 18 minus 18 fifths becomes 72 fifths times the square root of 3. And then I need to divide by 8 square roots of 3. Well, the root 3's are going to cancel each other out, and that's 72 will divide by 8 to be 9. So my answer is 9 fifths, and that's the average value of f over our region.